I'm Tanneke Koning. I'm living in the Netherlands. I studied veterinary medicine in Utrecht. I finished my studies in 1994 and immediately afterwards bought this practice in Zeewolde. I think you can become a, a perfect vet without doing any animal experiment. You can use animals that are put to death because you can't heal them. There are a lot of experiments you can replace in this way. I think even surgery you can learn better from a veterinarian than from doing an animal experiment because then you see the whole uh, surgery, the whole operation and you see the animal recover. At that time I was studying, I, I wasn't really sure whether I would, would want to be a veterinarian or not. If they had, would have forced me to do animal experiments, uh, it wouldn't just be worth cost. I would have stopped. I think that if you do animal experiments, you care less about animals. I think you will be acting differently towards other animals and may maybe towards people too. So I think it's harmful to do animal experiments. You, you, you're not as respecting to animals as you should be. I built a course which would give good physiological knowledge and experience without using animal experiments. So to me, the norm is the course without animal experiments, because it's not necessary. There are so many ways of demonstrating physiological principles, so you do not need animal experiments, really. Uh, as far as I can see, it, I, I can't find any disadvantage with the alternatives. I mean, if there was anyone, I wouldn't pick up the alternative. I, I wouldn't replace a good old animal experiment with something that wasn't that good. There's no question that students learn effectively using alternative methods. There are close to 20 published studies in the academic literature that I'm aware of that compare the performance of students using alternatives with those using traditional animal-based methods. These studies have found that students using the alternatives learn as well as, and in some cases actually better, than the students using animals. You must remember that in education it's a question of um, teaching knowledge that's already known. It's not a question of finding new knowledge. And it's also a question of letting students do things with their own hands and detect things themselves. But it's always things that are known in the end. And therefore, it's not necessary to have animals involved at all. We also need to question the kind of message we're sending to students when animals are harmed in educational settings. It's a sad irony that whereas the laboratory equipment we use is valued and is reused, the animals are treated as throwaway objects and thrown into the garbage at the end of the exercise. That's very disturbing in my mind given that one of the fundamental tenets of life science education is to teach respect for life. Well, the European Convention states very clearly that only those students who need animal experimentation for their coming profession should take part in that kind of courses. So ordinary students who not intend to use it for their coming profession should have alternatives only. Euronish is the European Humane Education Network. Um, working with students to support freedom of conscience and with teachers to introduce alternatives to animal experiments. We go out to universities or to seminars and demonstrate alternatives ourselves. Uh, there's also a possibility to get a hands-on experience of the different alternatives by visiting our conferences. There's a lot of different people involved in the network and people come from many different angles. Um, but Euronish tries to be the, the melting pot to allow discussion about humane education. Um, there's a, a lot of people who are, in, who are actually students objecting to animal experiments, teachers who have developed alternatives, or anyone interested who's coming along to, to see what alternatives there are to, to harmful animal use. Euronish mainly works by disseminating information on alternatives, students' rights and legislation. We feel it's important that student-teacher conflict is minimised and so we would encourage students to talk to the teacher to find out about the teaching objectives of any practical and then to look into the alternatives or combination of alternatives that could replace that animal use. Today there is a wide range of alternatives available and if you combine different teaching aids using different approaches 
you get a high quality humane education which fully meets all the teaching objectives. The Euronish Alternatives Loan System is a collection of different alternatives which can replace harmful animal use and we developed this system to enable teachers and students to borrow and familiarise themselves with the different products that are available. Euronish has produced a book called from guinea pig to computer mouse, which is a reference guide for about 400 alternatives. It gives details on practical applications, specifications and source. We encourage teachers to contact Euronish if they have questions about particular animal practicals and what alternatives or combination of alternatives could replace them. So to that end, we offer an alternatives advisory service and we also have literature and a website which can provide further information on these issues.